Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So this is LMC's pattern. War 2 Chapter 2 Part 3 A Little Challenge. Okay. Oh kita ada four questions ya yeah, for this little challenge. A hydrogen atom is found to have an excited electron n equal to 4. How much more energy is needed to ionize the hydrogen atom? Jadi sekarang nih dia sudah berada dekat n equal to 4. Dia mau kasih ionize. Bila kita mau kasih ionize, dia punya n final dia adalah infinity. Uh, that means Initially dekat n equal to 4 Dia mau macam berapa banyak energi lagi Jadi kita mau kasih lepas dia kan Jadi kena sampai infinity lah That's why n in final itu kita ganti dengan infinity uh, Using this formula Okay So ganti masuk formula And this is your answer And then question 2 A photon with the wavelength of 434 nanometer Is emitted when an electron Makes a transition from a high energy level To a lower energy level Calculate its energy in kilojoule for mole. So kita sudah ada wavelength di sini. Convert that wavelength into meter. Because ada nano di sana kan. So you got this formula here. Hc over lambda. Jadi ganti masuk. Planck constant. Speed of light. And you should get this value of joule. Tapi dia mau dalam kilojoule per mole. So for one mole of electrons. Kita darab dengan. Kita tukar that one pergi. Uh, apa? Kilojoule dulu. And after that, kita darab dengan Avogadro's number. We should get 276 kilojoule per mole. Okay. Now, moving on to 2B. Which line in Balmer series correspond to the above transition? Jadi, untuk dapat above transition kita mau tahu, kita kena tahu berapa N. Beza N yang terlibat lah. Uh, jadi, kita tahu ini adalah Balmer series. Since dia adalah Balmer series, semaksudnya N, one of the N should be N equal to 2. Okay, kenapa N1? Sebab dia jatuh pergi N equal to 2 kan? Jadi kita mau tahu berapa N1 lagi tu. Ah, that's why kita just masukkan value je lah. Ah, okay. So, kita akan dapat the N2 adalah sama dengan 5. Jadi, electron transition from N5 to N2. Okay, disebabkan ini adalah transition dia. So, that means dia adalah the third line in Balmer series. Okay. Alright. Okay, question 3. Write electronic configuration for Fe3 plus ion and answer the following. Okay, Fe3 plus ion. So, before kita start with Fe3 plus ion, make sure kamu tahu dulu Fe atom dulu. Okay, the tips here is make sure buat Fe atom dulu and after that, make sure buang elektron daripada 4S dulu. Baru buang dekat 3D. Jangan buang dekat 3D dulu ya guys. Okay, so this should be the final answer lah. And, because of that, Number of unpaid electron adalah 5 electron sebab semuanya berada dekat 3D. Uh, 3D5. They have 5 unpaid electrons. How many electrons in the n equal to 3 and m equal to 0? Kalau n equal to 3 and m equal to 0, n equal to 3 dekat sini. Okay. M equal to 0 maksudnya dekat, dekat, kalau kita buat betul-betul lah, 1S ada, 1, 2, 2s2 2p6 okay 3s2 3p6 and 3d5 1 2 3 4 5 okay m equal to 0 tu berada di mana di sana m equal to 0 ada satu elektron ada dua ya dua Oh, sorry. M equal to 0, N equal to 3 kan. Jadi, di sini ada. And then, di sini ada 1. Di sini ada 1. Okay, sebab dekat sini, N equal to 3 ni. Di sini, M equal to 0. Obviously, so L equal to 0. Tapi dekat 3P, L equal to 1 kan. Jadi, dia akan ada negative 1, 0, positive 1. So, either two of this akan terlibat sebagai M equal to 0. Okay. And meanwhile, dekat 3D. Okay, 3D dia punya L sama dengan 2. So, that means M dia adalah sama dengan negative 2 until positive 2. So, one of this orbital here adalah m equal to 0. So, because of that, at least one of them adalah berada dekat m equal to 0 lah. Uh, so, total elektron yang berada dekat n equal to 3 and m equal to 0 sekaligus ini adalah 2 plus 2 plus 1. So, that's why jawapan dia 5 juga. Okay. How many electrons 
in it have L equal to 1. Kalau L equal to 1 pula, let's try with another color here. Kalau L equal to 1, that means, okay, that means dia mesti berada dekat P orbital. Uh, dekat P orbital, ya. So, which one is P? Kita ada di sini, kita ada di sini. So, total adalah 12 electrons. Okay. And then, last but not least, what is the number of electrons that in the shell n equal to 3? Oh, shell equal n equal to 3, kita tambah aja lah kan. Uh, dekat n equal to 3 ada 2 tambah 6, 8 plus 5, total is 13 electrons. Okay, I hope you're clear with this. Okay. And number 4, calculate the energy and wavelength in nanometer of the third line in the bracket series of hydrogen spectrum. Mm -mm. Jadi, kita kena tahu dulu. Uh, the third line in bracket series Bracket series maksudnya dia jatuh dari ke, ke They will fall, electron will fall to n equal to 4 That means initially dia jatuh dari mana? Dia jatuh daripada 7 N equal to 7 to n equal to 4 To produce the third line Okay So ini kena uh, Ini dulu lah uh, Establish dulu Okay sudah so tahu yang ini Then baru kita boleh buat calculation So energy Okay initial N initial square minus N final square so 7 square minus 4 square Alright So this is the energy Negative just simply means Dia release energy lah Okay Alright uh, The wavelength Kita boleh pakai from this formula Boleh cari menggunakan HC over lambda Okay Or the other formula pun boleh Pakai Rydberg equation pun boleh ya Okay And you should get this And last but not least The region Kalau bracket series Dia punya region dalam IR region Infrared Okay If you have any question Feel free to ask Thank you Bye-bye